गाइस माय नेम इज अंकुश गौरव एंड आई वेलकम यू टू गॉन टू सीरीज इन द अर्ली ट्यूटोरियल आई टॉक्ड अबाउट सम ऑफ द बेसिक डेटाबेस ऑपरेशंस दैट वी कैन परफॉर्म यूजिंग हाइबरनेट प्रोवाइडेड फंक्शंस लाइक सेव कैट अपडेट एंड डिलीट नाउ इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट्स सपोर्टेड बाय हाइबरनेट फ्रेमवर्क एंड दैट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ट्रांसिएंट persistent and detached states of a hibernate object in a hibernate application so let's start you will understand more with this simple demo which i have already created here here i have created a student class which is representing student table which i have already created in the database having two columns student id and student name and here is the main class where i'm going to write code to demonstrate you this simple concept guys if you remember in the earlier tutorial i explained you the concept of save function what i did was i created a student object and then i passed that object to the save function and when i ran the application hibernate happily inserted a new student record into the student table if i'll run this hibernate application for one more time what hibernate will do it will simply insert one more student record into the student table let me run it and show you how this thing works so it inserted a new student record into the student table as per the expectation what it means is every time i run this piece of code hibernate will simply insert a new student record into the student table Now I'm going to make a very small change over here. I'll add this statement just before save function. Now, if I run this Hibernate application, what it will do? It will save a new student record with the name gone to one modified before save function, or with the name gone to one. Let's run and check this out. So it has inserted a new record with the name gone to one modified before save function. and that's the usual behavior i modified student object just before save function so when i pass that student object it considered the last modified value for student name for the student object all right everything is clear so far now i'll make a very small change again in the code i'll put this statement right after save function so now when i run this hibernate application what it will do it will insert a new student record with the student name gone to one modified before save function or with the student name gone to one modified after save function let's run and check this out if we see in the logs here hibernate has fired two queries one insert and other one is update now question is why hibernate fired an update query when there is no update function written over here i simply wrote a save function and there is no update function over here so why hibernate fired this update query let's check in the database what it has inserted into the student table oops it has inserted a new student record with the name gone to one modified after save function which means it considered this student name value for inserting a new student record into the student table so something unusual hibernate is doing when i'm running this piece of code let me first tell what exactly hibernate did behind the scenes when i ran this hibernate application and then i'll explain in detail the reason for doing so here with this code hibernate first inserted a student record with the name gone to one modified before save function here and then when it found this statement in the code after save function it immediately fired an update query to modify the name of student from gone to one modified before save function to gone to one modified after save function so in the end when hibernate completed running the application you found a new student record with the name gone to one modified after save function now question is why hibernate fired an update query after finding this statement here after save function and the simple reason is 
the concept of hibernate object states. Guys, this is a very important and simple concept in a hibernate framework, but I would need a little more attention of yours to understand it. This concept says you create an object and then you pass that object to the save function. It says till the point you pass this object to the save function, the object is said to live in a state known as a transient state. Once you pass this object to the save function, right after that, till the point you close the session, the object is set to live in a state known as a persistent state. And what's good thing about persistent state is, once an object is into a persistent state, after that, if you make any modification to that object, then Hibernate would make sure that it would fire an update query in order to sync that modification with the database record. And that's what happened here in this case. I passed the student object to the save function. And according to this concept, its state got changed from transient to persistent. And as a result, when it saw this statement while executing this application, it fired an update query to sync the student object modification with the already persisted or inserted student record. The idea is very simple. Once you provide an object to the Hibernate session's save function, then Hibernate will persist or insert that object into the database table. And after that, till the point you close the session, Hibernate will make sure to sync any modification made to that object with the database table for the already inserted record by firing an update query. All right, so, so far all things are clear. Now, one last concept. If an object is in a persistent state, the way student object is in a persistent state over here, when you close the session, it goes again into a new state known as a detached state. What it means is, if I write this statement right after session dot close, what will happen? When I run this Hibernate application, what Hibernate will do? It will insert a new student record with the student name gone to one modified after save function or with the student name gone to one modified post session dot close statement. Hibernate says when an object is in a persistent state and you make modification to that object right after session dot close, then in that case, Hibernate would not sync that modification with the already existing record in the database. So what it means is because I have modified this student object right after session dot close. When I run this Hibernate application, Hibernate will insert a new student record with the student name gone to unmodified after save function and not with gone to unmodified post session dot close statement. Guys, in this tutorial, my main aim was to introduce you with all these three states of a Hibernate object. We're going to look at all these concepts in detail in my subsequent tutorials in this series. Guys, thank you for liking my tutorials. If you have any comments or queries, please put them below the video or simply write to me on this ID. Please hit the like button if you really like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Contour Series and I'm going to catch you in my next tutorial.